Well, 17 months after the Columbia gas explosion, you would assume that life is pretty much back to normal for the affected homeowners. But it's not. The Thornhills, for example, are finally mm. back home, but hardly settled. Now, they're navigating repair and renovation costs that neither Columbia Gas nor their insurance company has paid for. Hello! Hey. Hey. <laughs> oh, it looks so nice! Mona and Dean Thornhill can finally show us their new antique home. The house is 170 years old, and that's original, so yes, it means a lot. They lived here in North Andover for 42 years <gasps> until the Columbia gas disaster in September of 2018. This entire area was one big gas flame. The gas sparked a fire in the basement. Putting it out led to a house full of smoke and water damage. They moved into an apartment. And we've been checking in with them for the past 15 months. How did it feel to be home? It was awesome. A little strange because everything was different, but it was still a house. When you come in, it's your home. Yes, yes. But for this retired couple, the cost of renovations has led to a financial anxiety that tempers the joy. Nobody wants to pay for it. So this was not covered by insurance fully? No. And now we get this enormous amount of debt building. And uh, we didn't set the house on fire. They also didn't damage their porch. I stained it every year. And now it's just starting to rot. So it's going to, it has to be replaced. And the insurance company is saying they're not replacing yeah, absolutely this. Absolutely not. Or smash the new siding. They say a truck driver removing the crew's portage on hit the house and kept going. I think they think that's fixed. They say the insurance company wouldn't pay for plaster in certain areas. And once a new drain went in, refused to cover the $1,400 cost to remove the old one. They don't understand um, how you can have so much insurance, and the insurance company gets paid by Columbia Gas, and they want to challenge everything. They're also negotiating with their contractor about unfinished work, like a heating system for their daughter-in-law's home daycare that hasn't opened since the fire. When the work is finished, the Thornhills fear they'll be at least $50,000 in debt. And the stress is taking its toll. I mean, I don't know how you put um, a price on not sleeping. We've put thousands of hours that we would have been doing something else in into trying to get back here. Now they're trying not to let the lingering challenges consume them. You got to get over it. We're going to move on. Yeah, we can't let this ruin the rest of our lives. Now, on Thursday, a judge will decide whether to approve a $143 million settlement for the victims of the gas disaster. There is no way to know what the Thornhills will get. But the president of Columbia Gas actually went to their home and walked around with them for more than an hour back in September. Since then, they say they've heard nothing from him. So we reached out to Columbia Gas. The company told us it doesn't discuss private conversations with the media and that the president and the team regularly meet with customers and quote deeply value the insights they gain wow so they had a popular daycare they haven't been able to run this thing they have They're lost losing all kinds of money yes hundreds of thousands of dollars lost on the daycare. all right when the settlement is over right they can't end up losing money i'm right they cannot end up in debt their fear is that they will and they're trying desperately to pursue every avenue so that that doesn't happen but it's a it's a terrifying story for anyone months out there. later well wow. right still fighting it good so coverage we good always story. appreciate that